three minutes, three pancake variations. Let's go. Today, I'll quickly run through the fundamentals of one of my favorite tricks that everyone can do, the pancake. So apart from flour, eggs, and milk, you also need some skill and a little bit of patience. So let's go through the variations. Pancake number one, the inside pancake. The inside pancake is exactly what it sounds like. You're letting the ball bounce on the inside of your foot, which means you need to put the outside of your foot on the ground. So put the foot in front of you, not to the side of you. So put it like here and let the ball bounce on the hard part of your shoe. And when you feel comfortable with the bounce, like this, you start doing it from juggling. So you juggle, you kick the ball up, you go into the position quickly and let the ball bounce and then juggle again. Pancake number two, the outside pancake. The outside pancake is obviously the opposite of the inside pancake. So instead of putting the outside of your foot on the ground to get the inside pancake, you're putting the inside of your foot on the ground to get the outside pancake. But for this one, you need to be a little bit more flexible and have a little bit more strength because in order to put the inside of your foot on the ground, you need to bend your knee and lean away from the foot that you're doing the pancake with. So you need to be in this position-ish to be able to do the outside pancake and then let the ball bounce. And when you feel comfortable getting into this position quickly, like this, you juggle. And there you have the outside pancake. Easy peasy. Pancake number three, the heel pancake. Now the heel pancake is probably the most difficult one out of the three because the bouncing surface is a lot smaller than the other two, obviously. But in order to get the bounce right, you need to put your toes into the ground and have your heel pointing upwards, exactly upwards. Because in order to get the right bounce, you need to have your heel leveled. And this position is quite easy to get into, like this. But then you need to let the ball bounce. So when you kick the ball up, you need to anticipate exactly where the ball is gonna land. Put your foot down like this, leveled, and let the ball bounce. So juggle, kick the ball up, anticipate, heel, and there you have it. Regardless of what pancake variations you do, there are some pointers that will help you out either way. Anticipate where the ball is gonna land, keep your bouncing surface level at all times, and kick the ball up high enough in order to get the bounce that you want. So that was it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it and that you learned something new. And if you did, leave a like and a comment down below on what trick you want me to teach you guys in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe with the bell notifications on, and I will see you guys in the next video.